He died when he was 20 years old, you know, so uh, he was loved. He loved his two nieces, my sister and my cousin Cindy. Uh, I didn't get to know him, of course, because I was born after, just after he was killed in action. Right. And so that's how I ended up being the namesake of my mother. Because I, I remember as a kid growing up, I said to my mom, I said, what in the world did you ever name me Elder? She says, well, you're named after Uncle Elder. And I said, well, I guess that's an honor. It is. And, uh, and as you get older, it means more and more all the time. I'm not sure if Grandpa and Grandma ever got the closure. You, know, you can always put out a headstone, but without, without physical evidence, that closure is so important. So hopefully, it's like Pastor Remy said, hopefully he's looking down at us, and Grandpa and Grandma and Mom and Dad or and Uncle Arnie and, and Aunt Jean are looking down at us and saying, you know what, he's home. Now he's home. It was hard. I mean, when you have parents, my dad just died two years ago, and even before he died, he said, if he only comes home, tell him I love him, and I missed him. We just kept, you know, you hear stories. Somebody all of a sudden is on love, it's been gone for how long? And then I got the call. And I knew he wouldn't be coming home like we wanted him to, but he's home, he's at rest, he's a hero, and we praise God for all of the service that he was doing.